All right, let me try to install DOSBox on this thing. Here's my diskette. Here we go. All right. Um, I guess not. Hard it is. Come on. Inside. Hmm. Maybe I'll, be, maybe I'll sneak up into it. Attack! Ah, stupid thing. So I'll be attempting to install DOSBox on the HT phone. Let's look at some stats. Hello. Why would the hell would I want to play DOS? on my phone. It can take calls, I can text, has a lot of features. Why? Because I'm a nut. Um, seriously, uh, I like DOS. I like altering my phone for stuff that's not designed to do. Um, I'm not going to actually install it. I'll probably break it. Anyway, the way I installed it, I used a program called DOSBox Turbo. I could have used the free version of DOSBox on this thing, but DOSBox Turbo seems to be more optimized for the Android uh, device. So, you need one of these. This is the HTC Desire. You need one of these. This is a Go cable. G-O-T cable or on-the-go cable. Um, and, of course, a, a keyboard. Now, some of the games I'm going to test out in this, um, just for... Uh, make sure that it actually comes out. I'm going to use this old DVD um, player, which I had for a while. I barely use it. And I will be sitting it right here so you can look at the footage better. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll put the lights out. We'll see. So without further ado, uh, let's look at some video gameplay. I just noticed something. It's really, really, really hard to type in the dark. So, yeah, I'm going to leave the monitor on for now and type this in. Where the hell is this? Keyboard, keyboard, hello, keyboard. There we go. Now I'm going to turn off the monitor, and hopefully that'll be better. Again, this is running on my HTC Desire with that Go cable I was talking about. And it runs quite well. So as you can see, I'm as you can hear, I'm typing in my keyboard. All right, um, <laughs> this is running actually faster than my original 3D6 I had back. 92, yeah, 92 with four megs of screaming RAM. The HTC has a one gigahertz processor with. Um, uh, storage of uh, 8 gigs and um, I'm using that as like a hard drive I should have plenty of room you're probably asking why don't I have an SD card in there I do it's just for whatever reason I can't um, access it through uh, I'm running uh, KitKat on the operating system and there's a note saying that it doesn't run on an external um, SD card I really didn't look into it I just wanted to get it running don't really notice any slowdown really I find it's a little sticky I, I hard to explain a little sticky but it's running fine but I've played this for a while um, I do got some save files but I'll show you in a minute all right so I'm just gonna load up a file to say it's running just like it's running on a, on a computer see I loaded this earlier I've been playing this for a little bit I think this is a couple levels in and uh, runs fine I'm really really surprised and happy how it runs of course it's very not very practical to have this on the bus while you have the go cable and a keyboard hooked up to it doom de doom de doom doom de doom killing zombies and demons all right I'll load up another file just to show you there we go runs like a PC would I'm really really happy so I'm gonna run some other programs to show you the difference uh, doom is usually what rec they recommend you play first when you installing the DOSBox turbo 
Um, there's a tutorial online to see uh, to install and all that. A um, little bit, I don't know, the instructions could have been better. My taste, this is my taste, but let's uh, quit this and uh, let's see if we can run another game. And you can see it's the shareware. All right, something a little newer. You may notice from the command prompt, a uh, little Duke Nukem 3D for your viewing pleasure. Here we go. As you may notice, uh, or you will notice, that it runs a little slower. Um, and uh, still runs fine. It's still playable. Um, again, I'm in the dark. So I have to sort of hunt for the keys. There it goes. Duke Nukem on the phone makes it a better phone. God, that was terrible. All right, let's try a new game here. Since it's a demo, I can put LA Meltdown and let's rock. So for playability, um, again, it plays okay. I'm playing on the keyboard only. Um, I guess I forgot to do caps lock, so that's why I'm walking so slow. Ouch, ah, I remember that. Other than that, it plays pretty well. Okay, all of it's there. Oh, there you go. Shift bar. Shift space. Space bar. No, not space bar. Shift. I'm holding down shift. Thank you. Ow. Man, I suck. All right. So, it's, what can I say? It's Duke Nukem. It's awesome. So, we able to play this? Yeah, I'd be able to play this. Don't know if I want to play the whole thing on this little screen. Um, you know what, I think if you do this more than fun, if you're actually playing DOS games a lot, um, you can play it on a phone, but my recommendation is try to get it, like, if you have a tablet, I would play this on a tablet, but it is playable, and very playable indeed, and I had fun with it. So the last game I'm going to show you is Wolfenstein 3D. I picked this up at uh, Steam, of all places. All I did was uh, browse to the directory, remove all the config files for DOSBox, and it runs fine on the DOS Turbo. Um, I'll go for the episode one. All right, and this is the full version. I think I got this the last QuakeCon they have. Usually with QuakeCon, they usually have all these games for sale. And as you can see, it runs okay. It runs actually quite well, considering it runs Doom really well. It runs this one fa fantastic. And uh, what can I say? It's Wolfenstein 3D. Like, I think it runs on almost anything. Uh, I think there's you can run it on a version on the uh, Sega Genesis. Um, I know there's one for the Atari uh, Jaguar, so <laughs> I guess you can run it on almost anything now, considering the low system requirements. And as you can see, it's not perfect. I ran into a few bugs there. With DOSBox Turbo, oops, sorry. With DOSBox Turbo, I discovered that there is some bugs, see, as in I'm just going around in circles now. And to fix this, I usually have to reboot my phone, restart my phone. Usually runs fine for a while, so yeah, so I'm going to quit this. So now you can see the lights on and my shiny head in the reflection. Um, okay, so is it worth it? I think it is. If you're a big fan of DOS games and you got a couple lying around and you feel like running it on your phone, why not? Um, you can run, easily run these games on a regular DOS box uh, on Windows, anything. There's even versions for Macintosh, uh, Linux, and all that, and you can run it really well. Um, why am I running on the phone? Like I said earlier, I'm a nut. So I'm going to ask my uh, subscribers and my viewers, 
do you want to see more of these? Um, I ask you, I want to need more views because it was a bit of a pain. It's fun, but a bit of a pain to record all this stuff and get it to work. And uh, I pretty much cover the first person shooters. Do you want to see RPGs? Do you want to see maybe strategy games, uh, DOS strategy games? Please give me some ideas in the comments. And also, if you want me to do a tutorial, I would like at least a thousand views or a hundred subscribers. I don't think I'm asking very much, considering people ask stuff in the thousands. But uh, yeah. So again, if I can get a thousand views on this video or at least another uh, 50 subscribers considering how thick I have from the time of the video I have 42 so I'm gonna give another stupid phone I'm gonna give another 50 subscribers if you can do that I'll actually cr uh, create some tutorials um, yeah and that's pretty much it and now there's another exciting review please click on the left and right of me if you want to see some more reviews or click on the like button or click on the subscribe button. Remember, if you want to see a tutorial on how I installed or played these games on DOSBox, I would like to have some more subscribers. Until then, peace.